from the creative mind that brought you such fantastic Let's Plays as Clarence's Big Chance 100%, Mario Kart Wii, and Super Kanashi! Comes the latest in an ever growing list of playthroughs. Today, legitimate business plays blocks that matter for X. Hi <laughs> there! How you doing? Oh god, yes, we're gonna do this. Finally gonna get this thing right. This is the fourth time I've tried to record this stupid game. Sweden, the land of indie games! Meet Alexi and Marcus, two talented indie developers who created successful indie games. You should recognize them. A few months ago, to the excitement of many, they announced their reunion and their plan, a revolution, a brand new vision for gaming, a... well, a most secret project indeed. Secrets! A lot of players worldwide were impatiently waiting for the release. Expectations were roaring high. Somewhat too high. On a cold winter day around May, two men came knocking at Alexi and Marcus's door. Uh, conveniently using applied psychology and the guns they carried, <laughs> they kidnapped the two developers and brought them to an isolated cabin in a forest of pines. From now on, you're working for the boss. Finish your game before the night, or else... The fact of the matter is, the secret project is not a game. I don't know why I give those guys weird Bronx, ants, uh, Bronx accents. It's tiny gorilla robot, still standing unactivated in Marcus's lab. <laughs> the only thing to do for Alexi and Marcus to do is activate the robot and guide it to save them. I don't know why I give those guys accents from New York. They're Swedish. Maybe I just think that all gangsters are, are New York mobsters or something. So, this is the game. You are the robot. Isn't he adorable? He walks around, he has little tiny arms and legs. And when he runs, when you hold the X button, look at his legs! <laughs> That's adorable! You get to play this adorable little bastard for the entire game. <laughs> so, uh, at this point, your primary function is to collect blocks. At this point, you can only collect blocks by ramming your head into them. Somehow that, that absorbs the blocks into you. I don't know how that happens. I don't know how it works. Don't ask me. It's somehow Alexia Marcus made it work like that. And here is an upgrade! One, two, one, two. Tango Charlie. Communications are online, it seems. The activation seems to be working. The Tetrabot has even upgraded itself. Great job, Tetrabot. And to say you're not even an even. And say you're not an even, 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 That's all, folks. To say you're not even an alpha prototype. You'll have to be even smarter to save us. The science of interacting with blocks. It's so tricky, says Alexi. <laughs> okay, now listen carefully, Tetrabot. As you've already experienced yourself, you have the ability to collect blocks of matter. The blocks you collect are displayed at the bottom of the screen. Look down there. Ooh, look at that, there are blocks. There are only two ways to collect blocks, by breaking them with your head, as you've done before. And now with your drill, since you have upgraded yourself. Marcus, I hear someone coming. No time to waste, Tetrabot. Try to collect blocks of matter using your head and your drill. There's another great machine in the lab. We'll activate with three blocks of wood and sand, jump in it, and we'll contact you again. Good luck, Tetrabot! Alright, so, uh, now we have a drill, which we use by holding the X button. And you can use that to collect blocks of matter. So, at this point, we only need to collect wood and sand. So I'm not going to pick up any stone blocks. Oh, we're already done. Cool. That was easy. So pretty soon. Very soon, in fact. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. For, okay, we're gonna get another upgrade. Well done, Tetrabot. Collecting blocks is interesting, right? It gets even better. This new upgrade allows you to recycle the blocks you've collected into new shapes. Switch to the puzzle menu, puzzle mode, using the Y button, and I'll explain to you the rest. Let's hit the Y button. Okay, so this is the puzzle mode. A symbol green and a cursor. There are three basic rules to remember in block recycling science. Rule 1, press A to pose a block, B to cancel your last action. For those of you who don't know what they mean by pose a block, they mean place a block. This is not made in America. Swing Swing Submarine is in fact not an American company. Rule number 2, block has to be connected to another one. It can be on the ground, on walls, roofs, or another block of collected matter. If you want to know where you can put a block, just look at the cursor. Green means it's okay, red means it's not. And rule number 3, 
the most important one, you have to lay four blocks at a time. This is because you've been programmed using Pajitnavian physics. You can only create shapes that are tetrominoes. <laughs> uh, simple yet efficient. You just have to look at the corners of your screen for a reminder of the controls. That's it. You can do it right now, as a matter of fact. Create a tetromino using four blocks to puzzle in puzzle mode and use it to jump to the portal on your left. Yes, that's exactly what we said. So puzzle mode is kind of unique because uh, essentially time stops. You can't move, nor can anything else that shows up on screen. Uh, and basically all you can do is place blocks. Alexi, how long do you think was that portal jump? How long do you think was this portal jump? Okay. According to my tools, more or less 100 meters. It's not very accurate. Okay, so here's the plan. They okay, so here's the plan. They seem to have imprisoned us four kilometers north of the city. Rudimentary math skills would tell me that there that would mean that there are approximately 40 levels in this game, which in fact there are. We'll create as many portals as needed for Tetrobot to rejoin us. I guess their Wi-Fi was not powerful enough to bring us to a more remote place. Listen, Tetrobot, the signal is too weak for us to control you from where we are. If you think you're stuck, use the Nano Reset Explosion button to hold the B button. We'll bring you back to the entry portal. All right. I'm going to try and do that as few times as possible. That's the hope, anyway, during this playthrough. And uh, I will tell you right now that, joy of joys, I'm going to be playing through this game three times. Oh, I forgot to... Quit interrupting me for the first time ever. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say something really important. We cannot afford the technology to allow you to drill while jumping. You bastards. We tried to program it ourselves, but we created black holes each time we tried. Okay, fine, you're not bastards. So if you want to drill a block, you need to create a step to stay on it. So uh, before I was so rudely interrupted by those programmers, I was going to tell you that this game is going to be... I'm going to be playing through this game three times, essentially. First time will just be a regular old playthrough uh, of Adventure Mode. Second time will be a uh, collecting... going around and collecting all of the treasure chests, which you'll probably see more of later on. In the third time, which arguably will be... I'll explain again in a moment. Marcus, I don't remember. What's the difference between wood, stone, and sand? I haven't been outside for a long time. <laughs> oh, Lexi, dude, come on. Even I go outside sometimes. Well, a lot of differences, in fact. The biggest one is their shape. Square blocks, like wood and stone, are stable enough. Eroded blocks, like sand, will fall if not supported by another block. It's very important to remember which block does what as it will compromise or help your tetrominoes in certain situations. Use the left bumper and the right bumper in puzzle mode to choose the matter you want to pose. So as I was going to say before I was so rudely interrupted for the second time, uh, the third playthrough of this is going to be arguably the most difficult, for me at least, and that is going to be to attain gold stars on every level. And gold stars are kind of unique in that you, have, you can only attain them when you collect a certain number of blocks and keep them all the way to the end of the game, or through the end of the level. Remember, Tetrabot, some blocks fall, some do not. Other blocks, like Black Obsidian, can't be drilled at all. If you are stuck, hold B to activate the Nano Reset Explosion. So I'm really looking forward to doing the Gold Stars, because those have been fairly challenging. And uh, admittedly, I, I have not managed to reach 100% completion of this game. But uh, hopefully by the end of this I will. And uh, I can also mention that, obviously... I don't necessarily have to be playing through the levels in a specific order uh, in order to finish the uh, anything. The any, like the uh, what am I trying to say here? I don't know. But a lot of the treasure chests and certain things cannot be collected until you have beaten the game first once already. Look, Marcus, slimes. I told you they were real, and they're cute. Careful, Tetrabot. Slimes are cute, but don't kiss them. Ew. They'll trigger an energy set explosion using unfortunate A360 recent announced circuit, which, long story short, hit a slime two times and you explode. So I'm going to try and avoid these things. As cute as they are, I, I guess? Uh, anyway. Oh, wow. Holy Asimov! Can slimes be that big? Don't touch it or, else, or, you'll, or you'll get nano exploded. Try to find a way around this jelly mountain. Jelly Mountain. <laughs> anyway. Ugh. Ready for the big leap? You'll probably have remarked. You move faster when drilling. Jump when running and you'll be able to reach the platform behind this big mama. Big mama, really? I like to give things a nice name. Sure you do, Marcus. Jump! Okay, made it. Uh, okay, what was I going to say before? All right. 
about the uh, gold stars. The the thing about gold stars, ugh, as I was interrupted by myself. The thing about gold stars is that you have to have a certain amount of blocks, or at least a certain amount of blocks, at the end of a level. So you have to be holding on to a certainly, a, normally a rather large number of blocks at the end of any level in order to get a gold star. Some of them are more tricky than others. I'll say that. But barring... Okay, more text, fine. Alexi, speaking about names, maybe we should give a new name to the Tetrabot. If somebody listens to us, he'll probably understand what we're doing here. And then... I don't think this is a priority. And I don't believe in their threats. They had very believable guns. Well, I saw something strange when they were driving us to the cabin. Is Toy X made in China an admissible gun brand? You mean toy guns? Yes, I am 99% sure these were toy guns. God damn it, you guys. Okay, well, <laughs> on that somber note, uh, this is going to be the end of part one of Let's Play Blocks of Matter, the adventure mode version. Uh, next time, we're going to continue our quest, our adventure, towards saving these two apparently inept, brilliant indie developers. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, see you later.